A quick revision of straight line graphs is as follows. All straight line graphs have an equation of the form y equals mx plus c. m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. That is where the line passes through the y-axis. When we have a diagram with scales on the x and y-axis which are the same, we can use this very quickly. To find the equation of the line A, I can see straight away that the gradient is 2 because I go across 1 up 2. So A has the equation y equals 2x and it cuts the y-axis at 2, so it's y equals 2x plus 2. The equation of B, the gradient is across 1 down 3, so it will be y equals minus 3x and it cuts the y-axis at 3, so we have plus 3. For the equation of C, I can see that as we go across one, it goes up a half, so we have y equals a half x, and it cuts the y-axis at minus a half. You need to remember that to find the gradient of a line, you need to divide the change in the y-direction by the change in the x-direction. So, if you're given two coordinates on the line, which are x1, y1, and x2, y2, you can use this formula to find the gradient. For this question, I need to find the gradient of the line and then the equation of the line. I'm going to use this formula to find the gradient. If I call this point here, x1, y1, and this point here, x2, y2, I can use the formula. The y-coordinate of this point, y2, is 1. The y-coordinate of this point, y1, is 3. The x-coordinate, x2, is minus 2. And the x-coordinate, x1, is 3. This gives me 1 minus 3 is minus 2, and minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. Minus 2 divided by minus 5 is, of course, 2 fifths. So this is the gradient of the line. I now know that the gradient of the line is 2 fifths, and I need to find the equation of the line. The equation of the line will have the form y equals mx plus c, and I know that m is 2 fifths. I also know two points on the line. I know minus 2, 1, and I know 3, 3. I'm going to use 3, 3 to find out what C is. So I have a Y value of 3 and an X value of 3. This gives me 3 equals 6 fifths plus C. Rearranging to find C, I have 3 minus 6 fifths equals C. 3 minus 6 fifths is 9 fifths. So I know that C is 9 fifths. Finally, I need to write my equation, which is Y equals 2 fifths X plus C, which was 9 fifths. Another thing we need to remember is that parallel lines always have the same gradient. Looking at these parallel lines here, I can see that the gradient of this one is across 1 up 2, so the gradient is 2. This one is also 2, and this one is also 2. The equation of all straight lines takes the form y equals mx plus c. I'm told that the straight line I'm looking for is parallel to this straight line. So I know that the gradient must be 2. So I have y equals 2x plus c. I'm also told a point on the line. So I have an x value of 1 and a y value of 3. If I substitute these into this equation, I get 3 equals 2 times 1 plus c. This gives me 3 equals 2 plus c. So I know that c is 1. 
I can now write my equation of my line as y equals 2x plus 1. To illustrate the question I've just done, here's the line y equals 2x plus 3. I found my equation as being y equals 2x plus 1. If I draw the line y equals 2x plus 1, I can see that it's parallel to this line and it passes through the given point. You need to remember that if the gradient of a line is m, the gradient of any perpendicular line to that line will be minus 1 over m. Perpendicular means at right angles. If I draw a line with gradient 1, I can then predict that the gradient of the perpendicular line will be minus 1 over 1. This is minus 1. If I draw on a line perpendicular to this red line, I can see that the gradient is minus 1. For another example, if I draw a line with gradient a half, the perpendicular will have gradient minus 1 over a half. This means minus 1 divided by a half. There are two halves in one, so it's minus two. If I now draw the line which is perpendicular to this red line, I can see that the gradient is minus two. We're going to use this fact here in the next few questions. This would be a typical exam question. I know that the equation of every straight line takes the form y equals mx plus c. And I know that I'm looking for the line which is perpendicular to this equation. So I know that my gradient m is going to be minus 1 over this gradient here, which is 2. So I know that my gradient is minus a half. So I have y equals minus a half x plus c. I know that a point on this line is 3, 7. So I have an x value of 3 and a y value of 7. I'm going to substitute these values into this equation. y is 7, x is 3. This gives me minus 3 over 2 plus c. I'm now going to rearrange this to find c. Minus 3 over 2 is minus 1 and a half. So if I move this to the other side, I get 7 plus 1 and a half equals c. So c equals 8 and a half. I can now write out the equation of my line. It is y equals minus a half x plus c, which was 8 and a half. Here's a question for you to try. Notice that in this question, you're asked for a parallel line, not a perpendicular one. Press pause and have a go at it. When you're ready for the answer, press play. This is the answer you should have got. Here's a second question. This time you're asked to find the equation of the line which is perpendicular to this line. Press pause and have a go at it. When you're ready for the answer, press play. We know that the gradient is going to be minus 1 over a half. There are two halves in 1, so the gradient is minus 2. I can then use the point on the line, 4 minus 2, to work out that the equation is y equals minus 2x plus 6.